Welcome back to my channel. Today, we're going to be talking about one of the most iconic mecha series out there, Neon Genesis Evangelion. The term Evangelion is the ancient Greek term for good messenger or good news. And let me tell you, this series was anything but. Shinji punch in the air right now, that's for it's sure. Not, but before we get started, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on those post notifications so you never miss an update. Let's get it. Neon Genesis Evangelion is a Japanese anime series created by Hideki Anno. The anime originally aired from October 4th, 1995 to March 27, 1996, consisting of 26 episodes. Produced by Gainix, it quickly gained widespread recognition and has since become a landmark in the mecha genre. The story revolves around a post-apocalyptic world where humanity is under threat from mysterious beings. The secret organization NERV recruits young teenagers, including the protagonist Shinji Ikari, to pilot giant biomechanical robots called Avas or Evangelions to protect Earth from these otherworldly invaders. Through the series, Shinji and his fellow pilots grapple with their own insecurities, emotional struggles, and personal trauma while facing the overwhelming responsibility of defending humanity. The show delves into deep psychological and philosophical themes, questioning the nature of existence, identity, and the human condition. Neon Genesis received both critical acclaim and controversy for its complex narrative, surreal visuals, and the introspective portrayal of its characters. It has left a lasting impact on the anime community and remains a must watch for any anime enthusiast. So let's get into the story. Shinji Ikari, a 14 year old boy, finds himself thrust into a world of giant mechas and apocalyptic battles when he is summoned to Tokyo 3 by his distant and enigmatic father, Gendo Ikari. Shinji's father is the head of the secret organization NERV, tasked with defending humanity from mysterious beings known as angels using the power of biomechanical weapons called Evangelions. Upon his arrival in Tokyo 3, Shinji is met with a cold and indifferent reception from his father. Gendo informs Shinji that he is needed to pilot the Evangelion Unit 01, a giant bioengineered humanoid mecha. Having been abandoned by Gendo as a child, Shinji is reluctant to comply with his father's demand. However, Gendo threatens to use a heavily injured backup pilot named Rei if Shinji refuses. Just as Gendo is about to call for Rei, an earthquake strikes, causing Rei to fall from her stretcher severely injuring her. Seeing the dire situation, Shinji rushes to help Rei, inadvertently getting her blood on his hands. This moment of connection and realization, both literally and metaphorically having Rei's blood on his hands, leads Shinji to reluctantly agree to pilot the Ava. Shinji's first battle as an Ava pilot is against the menacing angel, Sashiel. However, the inexperienced Shinji is quickly overwhelmed and his Evangelion Unit 01 suffers severe damage. Before losing consciousness, he sees the Evangelion go berserk, acting independently and successfully defeating the angel without his conscious control. Upon waking up in the nerve infirmary, Shinji learns of his Ava's berserk state and how it saved the day. He starts recovering from his first fight, and Masato Katsuragi, a nerve operative, offers to let him live with her rather than alone. Hi. Okay. Shinji accepts the offer and begins to attend school. At school, Shinji meets Toji, Kensuke, and Hikari, who become his classmates and friends. However, when it is revealed that Shinji is the pilot of the Ava Unit 1, Toji blames him for his little sister's injuries sustained during the battle with an angel. Toji beats Shinji as an act of revenge, leading to tension between them. Shinji faces a second battle against the angel, Shamshell. Unfortunately, his actions inadvertently put his classmates in grave danger. Consumed by guilt and feeling responsible for the consequences, Shinji decides to wander the town alone, feeling disconnected and unsure of his purpose. During this period, Shinji spends a night with Kensuke, seeking solace and understanding. The next day, nerve agents come for him, taking him back to Nerve HQ. Masato reprimands him for his actions, but Shinji learns to overcome his weaknesses, choosing to stay with Nerve and returning to live with Masato. As Shinji becomes more involved with Nerve and its operations, he observes the mysterious Rei 
Ayanami, the girl he saved during the earthquake. He notices her interacting warmly with Gendo, and this piques his curiosity. Shinji's interest in Rei leads him to return her ID card, and during a chance encounter, he accidentally walks in on her while she's getting dressed. I don't think you have the facilities for that big man. <laughs> the awkward incident further fuels his fascination with her. After witnessing Rei's encounter with Gendo, Shinji's skepticism about his father's actions grows. When Ritsuko shares a story about Gendo saving Rei from scalding metal, Shinji doubts its validity. He starts to question why Rei is always alone and seeks answers from her directly. When Shinji expresses his lack of faith in Gendo, Rei slaps him, revealing her loyalty to his father. Shinji's Ava, Unit 01, and Nerve face multiple challenges and battles against different angels along the way. Through these trials, Shinji begins to understand his role as a pilot and the gravity of the situation. He is forced to confront his emotions, fears, and anxieties as he battles to protect humanity. The introduction of Asuka, a skilled and outspoken pilot, adds a new dynamic to Shinji's life. Asuka sees Shinji as dull and unremarkable initially, but soon discovers his innate ability to synchronize with Unit 01, unlocking the Ava's true power. They cooperate to defeat the angel, Gagiel, and successfully form a strong team in battle. Asuka's presence in Shinji's life creates some uncomfortable situations, like when she playfully teases him and even shares a kiss with him out of boredom. It's the biggest piece of dog shit. While their relationship is complex and confusing, Shinji comes to value their connection and he starts developing feelings for Asuka. Shinji's emotional journey becomes even more intricate as the series progresses. He faces internal conflicts and struggles with his self-worth. The battles against the angels and the secrets within Nerve's organization add a further layer of complexity to his character. As the battle against the angel Israfel ensues, Shinji and Asuka are deployed together to defeat it. However, Israfel divides into two separate angels, leading to a dispute between Shinji and Asuka, each blaming the other for the situation. Kaji and Masato devise a plan to overcome the angel, requiring both able pilots to synchronize their movements. Through intensive training and cooperation, Shinji and Asuka manage to work together to defeat Israfel with a synchronized routine, solidifying their bond as partners in battle. As Shinji spends time with Asuka and other classmates at the pool, he reveals his struggles with schoolwork. Asuka being academically advanced helps Shinji with his problems, although she humorously compares his topic of thermal expansion to that of her chest. Oh! Ew! Dude! What the f Embarrassing him. This lighthearted moment shows a more relaxed and genuine connection between the two pilots. Meanwhile, the angel Sandalfun becomes active in a nearby volcano, leading Asuka to take the call and confront it. Shinji throws his Ava's knife to Asuka to help her, showcasing his willingness to support his fellow pilot in battle. They succeed in defeating the angel, emphasizing their growing camaraderie and mutual support. Later on, the power goes out at Nerve HQ, forcing Shinji, Asuka, and Rei to journey together to confront the angel, Matarael. Despite their conflicts, they put their differences aside and work as a team to deploy their Avas and defeat the angel before it reaches Nerve HQ. As the series progresses, Shinji's sync rate with his Ava increases rapidly. This development stirs mixed emotions in Asuka, who feels challenged by Shinji's abilities. The arrival of the angel, Sahakiel, necessitates teamwork among Shinji, Rei, and Asuka to catch the falling angel and prevent its destruction. Shinji struggles to keep his Ava in place, enduring immense stress to hold the angel until Rei exposes its core, enabling Asuka to destroy it. Later on, during a test in Unit 00, the Ava goes berserk once again, but Shinji escapes unharmed. The experience leaves him mentally and emotionally shaken, reflecting on the implications of piloting the Avas and facing off against the angels. Shinji's journey takes an unexpected turn when he meets Kawaru Nagisa, an enigmatic and charismatic individual by the edge of a crater. Feeling lost and scared, Shinji is drawn to Kawaru's warmth and understanding. They connect on a deep level, and Shinji finds solace in his presence. Shinji then spends the night with him What do you mean by that? at his apartment, hesitant to return home due to his inner turmoil. However, the truth about Kiwaru's identity is revealed during his encounter with the angel, Zerul. Shockingly, Kiwaru is identified as the 17th and final angel. Shinji's world shatters, 
as he realizes that his newfound friend is in fact the angel known as Tabris. So that was a f***ing lie. Shinji is deeply hurt and betrayed by Kawaru, paralleling the feeling of being abandoned by his father. In the fateful confrontation, Kawaru acknowledges Shinji's loneliness and desire for affection. He explains that their meeting has given his life more meaning and purpose. In an act of self-sacrifice, he asks Shinji to end his life believing that choosing one's death is the ultimate form of freedom. Despite his inner turmoil and love for Kiwaru, Shinji reluctantly grants his friend's request, filled with immense pain and sorrow. Following the traumatic incident, Shinji spirals into a state of emotional turmoil, consumed by guilt and self-loathing. He questions his actions and whether he deserves love and happiness. In a surreal and introspective journey within his mind, Shinji is confronted with his deepest fears and insecurities. The final episodes of the series delve into Shinji's psyche and explore his various relationships with the other characters. Shinji's mind becomes a battleground of emotions, where he faces his inner demons and confronts his own self-image. These episodes delve into the psychological complexities of the characters, delving into their motivations, desires, and fears. As the series concludes, Shinji reaches a pivotal moment of self-acceptance and understanding. He begins to realize that he is not alone and that others care about him. He learns that he has value as an individual and that he deserves happiness and meaningful connections with others. Shinji's transformation culminates in his rejection of instrumentality, a collective merging of human souls. He chooses to embrace his individuality and the possibility of experiencing both joy and pain. Shinji understands that he needs other people to exist to feel happiness and to grow as a person. The ending of the series leaves the narrative somewhat open-ended, leaving room for a little bit of interpretation and contemplation. Shinji's character arc embodies themes of self-acceptance, human connection, and the struggle to find meaning in a world full of pain and uncertainty. In conclusion, Neon Genesis Evangelion presents a compelling and emotionally charged journey through the eyes of its protagonist, Shinji Ikari. The series delves into complex themes about the human condition and explores the struggles of being vulnerable in a hateful world. Shinji's evolution from a reluctant and insecure pilot to a more self-aware and resilient individual is a central aspect of the narrative, serving as a profound point of exploration of the human experience. Neon Genesis Evangelion continues to resonate with audiences due to its thought-provoking themes, relatable characters, and emotional storytelling solidifying its status as a legendary work of art still today. And it doesn't hurt that it has a butt ton of spin-offs and movies that keep on changing the ending. So sick of this company. The trash. But I'm not going to get into that today. So that's it. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button and slap the bell notification icon so you never miss another update. Until next time, peace.